Velkommen til Films TV. Årets Copenhagen Pigs Film Festival er i fuld sving, og husk i øvrigt, at du hver eneste dag på Films hjemmeside kan læse vores to Pigs Perters anmeldelser af festivalens film. Vi noterer også, hvornår filmene bliver vist igen, så du altid ved, hvad der er værd at se og hvornår det kan ses. Men udover et valg af spændende film fra et hav af forskellige lande, byder festivalprogrammet også på et enkelt og meget ambitiøst teaterstykke, drejer Den Danske Tyran. Som titlen afslører handler stykket om den legendariske danske filminstruktør Karl T.H. Drejer, som i stykket blev spillet af Bort Ove. I selskab med genfærende af skuespillerne Maria Falconetti og Antonin Artaud, spillet af henholdsvis Charlotte Munk og Bo Madvi, følger vi Drejers sidste timer på det, der ligner hans dødsleje. Der reflekteres både over Drejers karriere og privatperson i stykket, hvor der leges finurligt med både film, lys, lyd, musik og rekvisitter. Vi mødte stykkets engelsk-australske instruktør Stuart Lynch samt hovedrolleindhaveren Charlotte Munk, der spiller Falconet i spøgelse, og vi lod dem udfolde sig på Lynch's modersmål, så de to personer kunne pingponge. Jeg blev hjemsøgt af de afdøde. Det begyndte med Falconet, som sad hele natten og kiggede på mig. I nat var det så to, som pludselig stod i min fodende. I, of course, I knew Dreyer always when I was a student, as an art student. Um, but I was not particularly, in truth, not particularly engaged with the films. It was only when I moved here to Denmark that I became engaged with what he was doing and who he was. And this was on many levels, but the very basic sort of artistic level was his compositional uh, framing of, uh, fra- of the images and the, scene- and the scenes that he made. Um, also his use of light and dark, um, his what I consider to be a very advanced relationship to the portrayal of women. Um, uh, so on a political level, I was very drawn to him. I kind of began to see that Dry was a very good way for me to get into the, the sort of psyche of the Dane. I felt that he represented a very strong and very powerful aspect of a Danish uh, part of your personal- general personality over him. So it was very much on that basis that I started to look at it from a very personal but also an artistic point of view. Yeah, and for me, I've, I mean, of course it's been a, like a national uh, in heritage uh, and, and I've always known of him and of his films and, and saw them very early, I think. And at a time where I had this kind of, oh, everything that I have to learn, I won't learn. He, he was just there uh, as, as a thing that I knew was this big thing. And, uh, but then, It was like one, two years ago that we started talking about this. Well, we or, made or you sort of yeah. presented the idea. Yeah. And I, I, I started just searching around and looking into things. And, and uh, I mean, he is sort of, in a way, at the same time, conservative and very anarchistic and mm. and so slow, and but so fast and so, so like old fashioned, but, but in a way, way ahead of his mm. his time also as you say in in i never saw f- uh, women in in films like he he makes them because it's it's sort of it's it's like the sexes don't mean anything mm. it's just like people with wills i've i've sort of <laughs> gr- grown into really of course regarding him as the, the that genius he is because he really is a genius If you, if anyone can have the word genius, it's him, and it's not a sort of a. And I don't think. I think from this interview, you don't get this sense of, oh, dry. dry. We don't, it's really not been like that at all. It's really been quite nuts and bolts. You know, what was this guy doing? I mean, I, I think that uh, his life was when he said, "I'm not interesting, but my films are interesting." I kind of would almost agree with that. I don't think. Mm. I mean, I really researched because he was quite a daredevil. He was a journalist. He was one of the first people to. F- photograph from a plane going across so he had a certain devil may care side but when I really looked into it it was he did those things because he needed to for the job and in the period of time where he didn't make films after a uh, vampire um, he, he he was working all the time I mean on films but he just didn't make films at that point and he was scripting and putting things away archiving little things to do with a, an image oh that would be so good here I mean he never stopped And I wanted to get this sense in the play that he, that the only thing that actually did stop him in the end was death. Can you kill him? It's ancient, so death. 
came on my heart. Actually, the the thing about uh, Falconetti is is also that that nobody really knows this much about her. I mean, it's it's like you you know you it's it's like you sort of know her from Jeanne d'Arc. That's it. Uh, so so it was so it was actually also uh, uh, a great freedom to 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 just uh, to sort of be able to create a person out of I mean so so the rest of it can sort of be well how, wh- how wh- what what would I think she was or or as we as we do in the play sort of she questions the audience or the or mm. the surroundings so i mean yeah this was what was said about me wasn't it was i mad did i go mad because of you because of me we don't know uh, or, or or was i just actually very satisfied with doing this big thing or were you the tyrant were you forcing me to get on my knees and cry and cry mm. and or did i really want to do it myself because i'm as, as big an artist as you are but it did just get, it, all these questions were really really interesting to to uh, work around and, and to still um, i mean it's it's still it develops every night on, on stage because it's it's like of course it's it's a set performance uh we don't uh, we don't uh, improvise it's it's not like it's it's uh, it's the same thing from night to night but but it's it it has this element of openness to the to the lines and to the characters in 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 some ways yes it's a big thing to portray a great artist but i mean it also gives you the freedom to get to be a great artist because you can sort of just uh, there's so much in- inspiration to dig into so it's it's like yeah i uh, get to invent my own great artist <laughs> <laughs> i guess after they come to play from paris and they did a title for instructor to journalist hvorfor gør de det fra at kunne kalde sig instruktør så må man vel instruere og det gør de ikke Somebody wanted to make a film about him. He said, "Well, why do you want to make a film about oh, yeah, me? Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm not interesting." Yeah. But you know, it's very. And this is this. What I feel is, is a quote that really started me thinking about the Danes, because uh, he said, "Well, I'm not interesting, but my films are interesting." <laughs> You know, so there's actually this strong power and this huge ego, but it's it's not present. And I knew, and I think this is part of a Danish culture because here you are. You're, everyone is very quiet. Everyone is very nice. Uh, there's a hygge atmosphere, and there's everyone's going. But actually, out in the world, you're going out being like steamships everywhere. I mean, you know, well, m- literally, mask. Uh, Uh, Lego. I mean, if the, and you can just go through a whole list: furniture, the ki- uh, cooking, cuisine, uh, design, films, art. You know, everywhere. And also in the UN, the the Norwegians, the Danes, are, are some of the top ambassadors because their ability to negotiate is so high, because they're so good. Whereas you know, everyone else is ah. You know, get th- there's a quiet strength, and I think that quote by Dreyer, and I think Dreyer himself really represents this Danish. Quietness and uh, uh, self-respect, but also a power, uh, self-confidence, which you know was really what was part of my personal sort of journey into looking at who he was and who the Danes are. It's not like, oh, then you come, then you know everything about Dreyer and Barra. It's like you get this interpretation of what he might, some people around him might have thought or not, or it's it's uh, yeah, it's very much about. Yeah, the death thing, the stillness, the it's 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 kind of a a poem. Yeah, I, but I, with yeah. with with movement and sound. Dreyer, den danske tyran, kan ses under hele festivalen, og du kan bestille billetter via Copenhagen Pigs hjemmeside www.cbhpigs.dk. Det var alt for denne gang på Films TV, men husk at holde øje med hjemmesiden de kommende uger, hvor vi løbende disker op med endnu flere indslag fra Årets Copenhagen Pix Film Festival. På gensyn. Husk at du kan finde alle vores tidligere Films TV udsendelser på Films under Films TV fanebladet, og også på videovideo.dk i iTunes og via vores gratis Video Video app.